everybody, this is Frank Jim, and I'll be showing you part two of the Codex book. And so, um, in more detail, I'm just also showing you the, the interesting pictures. I mean, that's why I really bought the book. Maybe if I just shoelace this um, snake to a shoelace. Uh, I'm just going to flip through every so often. But here, as you can see, all the colored pencil detail is off here. I mean, is this book worth a few hundred dollars? Personally, I think so. And I got this, this copy uh, from the library. So I can't afford the, the price it's at right now. I'm hoping one day to find it at a book gallery, a uh, used art book gallery. One day I'm hoping to find it at a good price for you know, a thrift or a library book sale or some, something along those lines. You know, it's been really strong with Magic and the Fiat coin. So if you like the Jimmy St. Patrick Price collection so much, you have a decent set of all his collection. So there's a Cuba and all kinds of cool stuff in here. one of some kind of like royalty you know get together or something going on like that uh, personally but the one from reading is this weird you know character from DC and I can't blame him so really cool obviously this is going to make it go into some kind of collection of some kind and more Even if you just watch Fantastic Planet, which is a real nice science fiction animated movie made in the 50s, you, you still get across that someone who worked really hard as an artist to get, you know, it's like, it's not so much that it takes guts to be an artist and have your artistic voice out there, but it, the best thing art can hope for is that you find an audience and that you love what you're doing. So, oh, this book's too cool, but I can't afford a four hundred six hundred dollar art book. Uh, I, I would like to watch this other stuff and look up. I guess they named it after Jack Kirby, even though that was never brought up to the table, I guess. Yeah, so, and then I'll stop this, and then I'll start part three in one minute. So I guess we'll just...